Hey you guys, welcome to week nine of one bag a week challenge. So all this is about is me challenging myself to use the bags that I have. I have had new bags that have come in while we've done this challenge. And those are some bags, most bags that I had like previously purchased. Some of my bottom buy sell trade since I started this, but I'm not mad about it. So, so you shouldn't be either. Um, last week I ended on my small light saddle breeze. I still go back to like, I love this purse. This purse is like amazing to me. I also have it in Falcon, which is a like grayish black leather. It's awesome. Last week, I forgot to mention that I did also carry this bag, my Lululemon belt bag, the 2L, but I carried it um, like on walks with Daisy. So I didn't really count that as like a bag I used, but I guess it is. So, so this week I'm going to switch into my little book bags. Hold please. I have two. I have one in August Reed and I have one in Tumbled Black. This is my newer one. Oops, it's backwards. And I had the flap redone and I think it's just gorgeous. But I'm actually going to be carrying this one today because I need to go to Hobby Lobby and find a fabric for under the flap because I'm about to send off this bag and another to Jennifer over at Butterfly Stitches to get the flap relined and get the interior of a tote redone. So I'll definitely show those once I get them back, probably in another video, but I am going to switch to this. Um, I can show you weight and dimensions of that now, and I could also do weight and dimensions of the tumbled black one because each leather really weighs differently. And then maybe later on, I'll show you how I pack it after I get going, but I gotta get going for the day. So let me do this real quick and then we'll be on, we'll be off for the week. Okay, as for weight of the August read, make sure that's all up on there. Completely empty, it's one pound, two ounces. And then across here, the middle, from that end to that end, it's about just a little over, 12 and a half, so about 12.75. Now that is laid flat. That gives you a pretty good idea. And from top of zipper to, let's say, the bottom of that seam, because they say they measure seam to seam, it's about eight inches tall. And width is, I can get this to lay right, come on. <laughs> width there, come on is about three and a half inches. Yeah, like almost exact. So that's the August read. So tumbled black is one pound, five ounces. And of course the measurements are all gonna be the same, but just for kicks and giggles, because they say all their measurements are kind of approximate. Let's see where this one measures. From side to side, it's about 12 and a half. We squish it down. I mean, it really just measures at about 12 and a half right there at the edge of the leather and from top of the zipper to the seam it's actually about like eight and a half inches so it's a little bit taller than the last one and a little bit shorter in width but ultimately i mean they're really quite the same um of course they're not full so it's hard to see but you can tell like this one is also squished out more because it's been sorry if i keep bouncing this this one is squished out more because it's been used more. This one I have kept stuffed and it's my newer one. Um, so it definitely looks a little bit shorter, but it really is not all that much shorter. I know it looks it, but it's just not, it's just not. So that's, that's the measurements. And I mean, since I need to fill this bag up to carry it today, I might as well show you how I pack it up. So you can see this one actually sits pretty nicely on its own, like setting up. And I love that it has a little bit of structure. So as I'm switching, first things first are the things that are most important. My wallet and card duo, because that has everything I need, obviously, for the day. Um, next would be my twin pencil. And I have two more that are coming today. One that is going to be returned or sold on buy, sell, trade, which is a goldenrod, and a juniper, which is green. So I really want to switch over to my green stuff. I just got my green token it's marsh isn't that so pretty um that actually they didn't have a bijou in stock um in any kind of green so i just went with the token and you can see it's a little bit longer but the bijou on the bottom has more of a wider depth this one does not so but it was good to see that they actually end up holding really the same because I carry them it's stuck to my AirPod. I carry it with change, my corded headphones, and my AirPods in it just to make it easy to find. And I'll actually just put that right there, standing up. 
you can see that. I have a thing of dog treats that I need to refill. My car keys just slide right down in there wherever. I have my foldable Ray-Bans, which I really do love. I have Maui Gems as well. I, I These are definitely more for like everyday wear if you're just running around. I wore these to go on a walk on a really hot day with Daisy. Um, like it was just humid out, not hot. Her paws were fine. And they sit right on my cheeks, so they actually get kind of sweaty at the bottom. So those are not for like working out for me. Uh, I've got this pen. I am going to take some mascara because I'm going to um, see my holistic doctor and sometimes my mascara will run. Uh, if we're doing like a treatment or something, I have my knife, my hand sanitizer, and that goes back in that slip pocket, and my chapstick. That's everything that fits and there's still tons of room right here on top to lay anything extra that I might need, but that's it. Everything's out of the breeze. <laughs> That's such an easy bag to carry debris. So that's what I'll be carrying today. And I'm carrying it because I want to, like I said, go to Hobby Lobby and find a fabric that matches this that I just really, really love. I had this fabric that I found at a sale and I like it, but I don't love it. Like it's very feminine and dainty and pretty and it might be what I go with, but I want to go see just kind of what else there is. If not, I will go with this fabric um, because I think it's a really good match for it. <laughs> Okay, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this one for this flap, which will be so cute. And then I also found this really cute doggy one that I thought would be cute. And I think it's a poodle, but it could also be seen as a cocker spaniel. But I thought that would be really cute inside or maybe on the flap of my 1904. And then I got this one that I really didn't need, but it has like straight up cocker spaniel in it. so. Maybe I'll do something with that in the future. Maybe just a flap or something for fun in between. Okay, you guys, welcome back. It's the end of week nine, I think. And I carried my little book bag. I actually carried both of them, but the other one, which is the August read one I showed you at the beginning, has been sent off to Jennifer at Butterfly Stitches to get that um, flap redone in the green, in the uh, green fabric that you just saw. So she's already done this one and I just think it's stunning against it. So um, this bag is amazing. I'm going to be like just really frank about it. I was thinking about selling one or both of these and this is exactly why I'm doing this, this, this video series I guess because I need to reuse what I have and see how I feel about it and I absolutely like 100% enjoy carrying this as such an easy carry. So to sum it up, it's an amazing bag. It carries so much. It's actually still pretty I think pretty light for me um, and what I actually carry on the everyday. So this is a great bag. I'll link them down below so you can go check them out. There are some on Treat, I think, which is the pre-loved site for, um, well, that Rough and Tumble uses to for people to resell on their, or all their bags. Whew, words are hard this morning. Treat is a website. Treat is a website that hosts a bunch of different brands, but that is who Rough and Tumble has chosen to use for their like pre-loved sales, which means that you can go on and list it yourself. And I've listed quite a few things and sold quite a few things on there as well as in the buy sell trade group. So if you're thinking about the little book bag, it's amazing. There's also a larger version of this called, I think the messenger bag. I've never tried it. I don't go into an office, so there's no need for me to have like that type of large bag. I don't carry that much anymore. I do have a few totes and those are for, um, the off day that I want to carry a large bag and or if I do go to like a coffee house to sit and do some stuff. So those have come in handy as well. But this one, this one is amazing. I do need to carry a tote for a whole week and just see how that feels. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap that up here and that is the end of week nine, I believe, and we're going into week 10. So catch you next week. Bye.